Welcome, and thanks for tuning in. I'm Cameron Delano, Strategic Security Architect with F5, and in this video we'll explore a few methods to simplify the management of web application firewall policies across a diverse application security landscape. Whether it's SaaS at the edge, hardware in the data center, virtual edition in public or private cloud, or a lightweight platform agnostic solution protecting your essential microservices, we need to ensure that the policies deployed to our application security platforms are meeting our defense in depth needs. First, we'll look at maintaining your WAF policies as code in source control. This helps provide consistency, version control, scalability, fosters collaboration, and facilitates automation. Next, we'll explore the functionality of the F5 WAF policy conversion tool. You'll see how we can easily convert policies to enable deployment across the entire F5 application security product portfolio. To conclude, we'll look at using the F5 WAF Policy Supervisor to manage the life cycle of your policies across your entire application landscape. We'll show you how you can easily create, maintain, and deploy policies at scale using this tool. So let's go ahead and get started. Keeping your WAF policies as code in a secure repo is a best practice for consistency and tracking. To help facilitate this, the entire F5 security product portfolio supports the ingestion of WAF policy in JSON format. Here we have a public GitHub repo that I plan to use for managing the WAF policies we use throughout the demo. To start, we'll go ahead and export the OWASP Autotune policy in JSON format from our big IP. Once the export is complete, we'll rename and save it to our advanced WAF directory in the locally cloned repo. Now the policy is being tracked alongside the F5 distributed cloud WAF and Nginx app protect policies already in version control. Now once I commit and push my changes to my GitHub repo, the policies are tracked off-site and available for use in automation. Now here in the repo, we can see the OWASP Autotune policy I'd added. And if we select the raw option and copy the URL, we can embed it in our F5 automation toolchain AS3 template for my Big IP Advanced WAF Terraform build. Now every time I run my GitHub Actions workflow for the Big IP, it will get that policy, giving me policy consistency across all of my Advanced WAF deployments. Next, let's look at how we can ensure the protections provided by our WAF policies are consistent across all deployed F5 application security platforms. The F5 policy conversion tool allows you to take a JSON or XML formatted policy from a big IP or Nginx and convert it to be ingested by a target. We'll start with the use case where we're augmenting our F5 big IP advanced WAF with the F5 distributed cloud web app and API protection service. With the policy conversion tool, you can easily convert that existing advanced WAF policy to the format and features expected by distributed cloud, allowing it to be easily deployed with a simple copy and paste. We just select our source type, in this case, Big IP Advanced WAF, and then choose the policy we want to deploy. We'll go ahead and choose the OWASP Autotune policy we committed to our repo in the previous section. Next, we choose Distributed Cloud as our target WAF and click Convert. And as simple as that, we now have a policy ready to deploy it on Distributed Cloud. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what's included in the downloaded package. We have the report on the conversion, the full policy with and without comments, and in this case, the advanced WAF policy was converted into a distributed cloud application firewall policy and service policy. Now we'll go ahead and deploy our policies in the F5 distributed cloud web app and API protection service. Once we have our service policy JSON copied, we just head to the service policy section of our tenant and select add service policy. We'll switch from form view to JSON view and paste it in. And here we can see the policy and all of its rules have been created. Now let's head to the app firewall section and do the same for our corresponding policy. We just copy the JSON, select add app firewall and paste it in. Now we just save and exit. And as simple as that, we're done. Whether you're decomposing a monolithic application protected by Big IP Advanced WAF and moving it to Kubernetes protected by Nginx App Protect, or augmenting a multi-cloud security strategy with F5 distributed cloud at the edge, the policy converter can help ensure that you're providing consistent and robust protections across each platform. Now let's look at full policy lifecycle management using the F5 WAF Policy Supervisor. The Policy Supervisor tool allows you to easily create, convert, maintain, and deploy WAF policies across all F5 application security platforms. With both an easily navigated UI and robust API, the Policy Supervisor can help with managing distributed application protection policies no matter where they reside. The tool can be accessed either from the Distributed Cloud Console or directly from policysupervisor.io. 
After we've logged in, the first thing we need to do is add a provider. We'll start with Distributed Cloud. We just select Distributed Cloud as our provider type and then provide our secret. This is an API token created from your Distributed Cloud tenant. We've included instructions for how to create this token in the Add Secret UI. Once the secret has been created, we give the provider a name and enter the URL of our tenant, and then click Test Connection. But after a few moments of connecting and retrieving data, we should see a success. Now let's add our Big IP Advanced WAF. We select Add Another Provider and choose Big IP from the dropdown. Here it asks for an agent. This is a lightweight container that stores your secrets in a vault and connects a Big IP or Nginx instance to the SAS layer. This is easily set up using the instructions provided. Once created, we select our agent from the dropdown, and next, we'll select the secret created while running agent install. In this case, the login credentials for the Big IP. Next, we give the provider a name, enter the Big IP management URL, and then click Test Connection. After a few moments, our Big IP will be added and we can go ahead and ingest its configuration. This will bring in whatever WAF policies we currently have on the device. Once the platforms retrieved the policies, we can choose which ones to ingest. We'll go ahead and choose them all and click Continue. Next, we can choose what denial of service and bot defense policies we want to ingest. And once complete, we give a commit message, click Save, and ingest the policies. Now this can take a little while depending on the quantity and size of policies being ingested, so I sped things up for the sake of timing. Now once complete, we're notified of everything that's been converted, stored, or not converted, with messaging to indicate why. Now that we have our policies in the tool, let's see what we can do with them. First, let's take a look at the policy editor. The editor provides real-time syntax validation and auto-completion allowing you to create new or edit existing policies on the fly. Next, let's run a conversion on one of our ingested policies. Here we can easily convert an existing policy to different formats, similar to what we did with the policy conversion tool. We just choose our provider type, give a commit message, and then click continue. Once complete, we get a conversion summary showing everything that was converted or not converted based on the capabilities of the target. Here we can see that the bad unescape violation was unsupported by our distributed cloud target, so it was not converted. We can also dig deeper and see specifics based on our feature sets. And now that the conversion is complete, it saves off the report for later review. And our converted policy is then stored under policy lifecycle and conversions for us to access at any time. Next, let's run a deployment. We'll deploy the ingested rapid deployment policy to our distributed cloud provider. We just choose our target, provide a commit message, and then click Conversion Summary. And as you'd expect, the platform first runs a conversion and provides the report. If we're satisfied with the conversion results, we click Save and continue our deployment. Next, we're presented with a list of load balancers in distributed cloud that are available to attach our policy to. We just select every load balancer that needs the policy and then click Next and Deploy. Once complete, we have the opportunity to view our report and see the policy attachment details. Now, if we click on our providers list, we can see our distributed cloud target has received one deployment. Now we can check out our work in the distributed cloud console. Under Service Policies, we can see our rapid deployment policy that was created. And under the App Firewall section, we can see the corresponding policy as well. And lastly, if we check our load balancer, we can see that they've both been applied. Now, before we move on to our big IP, let's take a look at how easy it is to create a new policy. In the policy section, we choose add and create new. And once the side panel renders, we give the policy a name, choose our template, and click continue. This brings us to our policy editor for any modifications to the template. And once we're happy with the results, we just click Save and Exit. And now that policy is ready to deploy to any of our targets. Now we'll import a new policy and deploy it to our Big IP. Here we choose Add and then Import. Once the import panel renders, we give it a name, choose our policy type, in this case Big IP, and select Upload. For this policy, I'm going to choose one from the F5 Advanced WAF Policy Templates GitHub repo. 
I just choose my policy, provide any notes, and then click import. Now let's go ahead with that big IP deployment. The overall process is the same as it was with the distributed cloud deployment we did earlier. But this time, we'll click the three dots next to our source policy and choose deploy. This brings us to the deployment panel. We choose our provider, give a deployment note, and then click conversion summary. Once the conversion is complete, we'll select save and continue with our deployment. Next, on the endpoint attachment panel, we select our target virtual server, click next, and then deploy. Once the deployment is complete, we can view our report details for any errors, see what was or was not converted, and verify the attachment was successful. If we head to the deployment section, we can see our initial deployments to distributed cloud and our new big IP deployment. We can also head over to the providers section and see that we now have one deployment in our big IP. And lastly, if we head over to our big IP and refresh the UI, we can see that our comprehensive policy is deployed and attached to our target virtual server. And as you can see, the policy supervisor tool greatly enhances your ability to easily manage security policies at scale. And finally, let's take a look at our API. If you head to policysupervisor.io slash docs, you can see the available API calls and open API spec. Everything we accomplished in the UI today can be accomplished with the API and automation. I hope you've enjoyed this quick demo of some of the ways you can mitigate the complexities of managing distributed WAF policies across on-prem, public and private cloud, and SaaS-based deployments. Maintaining a consistent policy infrastructure across your application landscape is a critical component of an effective security posture. Ensuring policies are maintained as code, deployed via automation or a central policy supervisor, converted as needed, and kept in source control can go a long way in easing the pain and ensuring nothing is missed. The tools showcased in this demo are readily available to assist you. Thank you and have a nice day.